Welcome back. The High Court will deliver its verdict on constitutional validity of the Goa Rajiv Gandhi IT Habitat Cancellation, Abolition and Regulation of Allotment of Plots Act 2012 on Monday. State government has admitted that allotment of land to the parties during the earlier regime was not in accordance with law as tenders were invited without fixing a base price. Hence, in a larger public interest, fresh tender or auction for allotment of plots will be held within the next three months. Petition challenging constitutional validity of the act has been filed by Prashant Deshmukh, one of the previous allottees of land to develop non-IT based business premise in Rajiv Gandhi IT Habitats area at Donapala. Deshmukh's petition is being tagged with a petition filed by JMD Limited, another previous allottee of land to develop a shopping mall in the IT park. Both the petitioners have pleaded to the court to grant them interim relief and maintain status quo of their land. Opposing petitioners' demand to grant them interim relief, Advocate General Atmaram Nadkarni argued on behalf of the state government that allotment of land to both the parties was not in accordance with law as tenders were invited without fixing a base price. That's why lands were allotted on much lesser price than real market value of the land. Prashant Deshmukh had succeeded to get 10,000 square meter land for 1.5 crore rupees and GMD Limited got allotment of 20,000 square meter land for 45 crores. In August 2012, Parikar government had cancelled all the allotments by passing Goa Rajiv Gandhi IT Habitat Cancellation or Abolition and Regulation of Allotment of Plots Act and had paid deposited amount to all the allottees with 10% interest. To develop Goa as an IT hub, the foundation stone of Rajiv Gandhi IT habitat was laid down here about seven years ago. But due to many controversies, it could not become a reality till date. Now the Parikkar government is in process to start a new allotment process. The state government has said before the High Court that state treasury will extract maximum value for allotted land. With video journalist Susant Paul, I am Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. A mobile tower installed on top of the school building in Ribandar has stirred controversy. As per telecommunication guidelines, no tower can be installed within the 100 meter radius of educational institutes and hospitals. In spite of the guidelines, Bal Bharati Vidya Mandir has allowed two mobile towers on the school building. Despite several complaints, no action has been initiated. Mahesh Gadi reports. This is the school building of Bal Bharati Vidya Mandir at Raibanda. And these are the two mobile towers installed right on top of the building. Manipal Institute of Health and Education from Bangalore runs this school. As per rules and regulations, no tower can be installed within a 100 meter of radius of educational institutes and hospitals. Guidelines say, no mobile tower can be installed within 100 meter radius of educational institute and hospitals. Now look at this, two mobile towers on the rooftop of a school building. One belongs to Idea Network and the other of Tata Communication. According to sources, cellular companies are paying 40 to 45,000 monthly rent to the school management. Social activist Fazlur Tonse says he has made several complaints to the Director of Education, Old Goa Police and Panji City Corporation, but nobody cares. Many scientific studies claim that radio frequency radiations are harmful to human beings, especially to children in the age group of 9 to 12 years. It's around 800 to 900 students are studying here. Uh, radiation can cause diseases like neuros and uh, children's their skulls are very delicate actually mm. and I've already given it to the old police station for the inquiry mm. so I'm going to file a petition against them if they don't remove it because the schools are going to start within a two months again before reopen they have to take any actions either the municipality or education department referring to various studies activist Tonse claims that radiation from cell phone towers lead to swelling in the brain headache, hearing disorders, anxiety, neurosis, etc. Dr. Shekhar Salkar says adequate precautions should be taken to avoid cancer diseases. So prevention is always better than cure. Hmm. Hmm. So in say, uh, that was the uh, hmm. as far as possible should not be put. Okay. I also take care of it. Okay, I have to take care of it. I have to take care of it. We tried to contact the school authorities at Raibandar but nobody is ready to speak on camera. 
They pointed their fingers at the headquarters of the institution in Bangalore. Reporter Mahesh Gadi and senior video journalist Tulshidas Chari for Prudent. In the past three years, almost 50 cops have found themselves behind bars in various cases. The charges range from corruption, abatement to suicide to outraging modesty. Cases have been registered against 82 police personnel from the year 2010 till date. Amongst various ranks, police constables top the list as accused and suspects. The number is almost touching half century. State Home Ministry says it all. Watch this report. A sizable number of cops and state police force have been charged as lawbreakers. A sorry state of affairs. Home Minister Manohar Parikar's reply in the assembly reflects this sad state of affairs. Cases have been registered against 82 personnel and police force during the last three years. Here are the year-wise details. Year 2010, 23 cases were registered, 11, 23, in 12, 24 and in 2013 till March, 12 cases have been registered. In most of the cases, police constables have been booked. Cases against two DYSP level officers are also registered. Have a look. Police Constable 46, PSI 12, Head Constables 9, PI 6, DYSP 2, SDPO 1, ASI 2 and others 4. Almost 50 police personnel have found themselves behind the bars from year 2010 till date. The charges range from corruption, abetment to suicide to outraging modesty. Have a look at the tally. In 2010, 10 personnel were arrested, 9 were charge cheated. Two were pending trial and charges were framed against seven. In 2011, 17 were arrested, two were granted bail, 15 were charge cheated, nine were pending trial and charges were framed against seven. In 2012, 16 were arrested, three were granted bail, eight charge cheated, 15 were pending trial and charges were framed against five. In 2013, up to March, seven are arrested. 1 granted bail, 1 charge cheated and 11 are under trial. In total, 50 are arrested, 6 are granted bail, 33 are charge cheated, 37 are under trial and charges are framed against 19. This is a state of law protectors in Goa Police. Help Goa Police to help you. Seems like this slogan of Goa Police is also taking a huge turn. Bureau Report Prudent. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.